Just about 10 miles southwest of Stuttgart, you'll find what could be the most scientifically advanced farm in the world. Scientists at the Department of Energy's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, working with the University of Arkansas and Glenow Farms, are bringing together molecular biology, biogeochemistry, environmental sensing technologies, and machine learning in an effort to revolutionize agriculture and create sustainable farming practices that benefit both the environment and farmers. The goal of this unique collaboration, known as the AR1K Smart Farm Project, is to improve the long-term viability of the land and increase crop yields. So the idea is to use remote sensing to build this large-scale field lab to assess the efficacy of these uh, microbial amendments and then to start understanding. What we know is it's already a $2 billion industry. A lot of our farmers here, uh, friends of mine, uh, talk about guys showing up with two, you know, two jugs with bugs and, and you know, just put this on, try it, it works. A lot of um, um, biology out there, but nobody really knows the mode of action. Agriculture technology is advancing to the point that we have a tremendous amount of control uh, over our, our inputs, more so than we've had in the past uh, with GPS technology, tractors that are constantly collecting data and whatnot. That's advancing and we'll continue to have more control over what we can do and, and even more data to collect. So trying to understand where to apply inputs or where to look for particular pest problems and that's research wise that's what we're working towards. Um, that's based on, on a fundamental uh, biological premise that, that we liked as humans we love to work in straight lines, boxes, right angles. Biology doesn't work that way. The agricultural system is very complex and dynamic and in fact most often uh, with, with any problem that we find in the field, it's clustered in nature. That means it shows up in pockets. And the key is why those pockets are there. Why is that particular disease in that spot in this particular time? I'm looking to create a more long-term, I hate to use the word sustainable, I don't want to think this is you know, just a, a California-centric uh, uh, feel-good project, but I think about stewardship. So the outcome is, can we produce, can we show and demonstrably that we can do more with less? Uh, can we model that? So we have some really big uh, moonshot ideas on, on the biology side. Uh, but we're also more practically looking at um, developing some statistical models. They call it machine learning, artificial, it's just statistics. Can we correlate yield with different factors, uh, fertilizer, biology, and soil type and texture and chemistry, and really assess on a higher level what, how to produce yield, and then be able to model uh, uh, whether or not, um, uh, what, what are the factors in, that we could change. My goal would be to create that so that I can help the farmers optimize the outcome here. Um, both from an economic standpoint and a long-term sustainability standpoint.